Yes, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, welcome. It's Retro Spectrum. It's time for another review. It's uh, a really classic game, although it's quite, you know, it's 1988, so it's relatively mid to late in the Spectrum's run. So it's not regarded as a Spectrum classic. And I'm just going to warn you all now, this one is going to hurt. Pac-Mania, which... On the face of it, sounds like exactly what you want. You want a nice game of Pac-Man, uh, you've got a home computer, so it's exactly what you're going to be looking for, isn't it? No. <laughs> Just, as I said, brace yourselves, this is not a pretty game. I mean, look, it's got the name, it's got the iconography, you can, you know, it's, it's got Pac-Mania, it's got Ghost, the little Pac-Man character is in the middle, it, it's clearly training on Pac-Man. But is it Pac-Man? No. Now, like all these games, I spent at least a week running through them, uh, usually over in the stream, twitch.tv slash you and Spence, uh, and I was ready to give this game a pass. After all, it, it's a maze, it's got dots, it's got power pills, it has all the right elements, but unfortunately, it just feels like a waste of the brand. Uh, more than that, uh, I, I think it's a game where the developers just had very little time very little budget, or they were just overloaded with their work. Because, yeah, it meets potentially the design brief, but it doesn't actually... It doesn't create any joy. And and, and that's the thing. I mean, look, they, they've updated Pac-Man, so there are a couple of changes here. I mean, one of the weirdest ones for me is that with the fire button... You can jump. Let's just, let's just here's a little ghost here. See, look, you can jump. That ghost turns around and and they start chasing you. Come on, somebody chase me, chase me, chase me. Seriously, look, look there's a, there's where's the UI in that? Why? <laughs> there's a special item. Okay, look, fine. What does R do? It makes a ticky clock go. God. Oh, there you go. They've only done that. You can jump over a ghost. You can jump over pellets and everything and like Pac-Man doesn't jump I mean that's just yeah okay right you, you're gonna have to extend the game at some point but to be able to jump up over obstacles to twist in midair so you can go up and back again so you can dodge a ghost and do a, a u-turn that way you know it's a nice touch and in anything that wasn't a, wasn't a good brand new maze game you'd be thinking yeah that's a nice novel touch but but you've called this game Pac-Mania, which means anybody buying it is going to be expecting Pac-Man. I mean, that there breaks the illusion in my head. It breaks that sort of bond of trust where you buy a game that says Pac-Man and you expect to get Pac-Man. And you don't. I mean, for me, Pac-Man is huge, fast chases down corridors. It's watching where the ghosts are, so you can plan a long route ahead. And you can't do that because you've got such a tiny playing area. Uh, and also, because of the tiny playing area, you're like, well, okay, haven't I got all the dots? So unless you, you've got to go through incredibly methodically and slow patches, otherwise you just don't know where the dots are. I was convinced there was more in the bottom right there. Um, but we get through, yep, you get the cutscenes and you get that grid. So it's just not Pac-Man. Okay, put that aside. It took me a good day in the stream to actually do that. Can you judge it just as a munchy maze game? Well, yeah, but it's not going to like the judgment. Um, I mean, I l it's a nice end of a touch to give us this sort of half isometric, half sort of grid view by by sort of tilting it left and right. But it leads to a really weird situation here that you actually move faster going left and right than you do going up and down. See, see, right here's an here's a nice bit. See, bup, bup. do that. Uh, look at the difference in speed as you go up the way. Tick, 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 t
interesting. The speeds are different, and that just throws my hand-eye coordination, and it's incredibly slow. It's ponderous. It's laborious. And it doesn't have to be that way, because in the game, you've not only got the power pills, which allow you to eat the ghosts, but you've got power-up pills, which gives you a little bonus. There was the R that you saw earlier in the review. There's one marked G, which I presume stands for go faster. And, and that doubles the speed of the maze travelling. And what annoyed me was when I got that, I went, that's how fast I want to be going all the time. That's the sort of speed that an arcade game should be going at. And, and yet, you've got this cute effect, but the cute effect has a really negative effect on the actual gameplay. So, if you look, I've just, I can, forgot, I can just jump over you now. Look, we can just play jumpy, 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 jump. Jumpy, and, and you don't chase me again, fair enough. Now, there's the angry ghost. Oh, you see, you don't, you don't have any colours to the ghost, so you don't know which ghost goes in which pattern. All you know is you've got angry and scared. Uh, so, again, you miss that um, whole idea of strategizing going through. What's nice about it? <laughs> the thing is, everything is very slightly wrong in this. And because everything is slightly wrong, it all adds up to, quite frankly, a mess. Uh, it's not enjoyable to play. That's the biggest, the biggest critique, the biggest negative mark you can give a game. It's just not fun. You know, nowadays, you'd say that this is part of extending the franchise, but I'm not exactly sure who this is for. Because if you're hardcore Pac-Man, you're going to look and go, Ugh. if you're looking for good play gameplay, you're going to pick this up and you're just going to go, nope. And who's going to buy this? I mean, is it the one where your grandparents go, oh, Pac-Man, that's a good computer game. It's been around for a long time. We'll buy that for his birthday. Or, or an extra top-up at a Christmas. That anybody reading the magazines or looking for reviews or anything is not going to touch this with a barge pole. And... I mean, I'm still playing the same game for the entire review. Where's the challenge? When we're getting up to this amount of time and you're still just quite happily touring around the maze, something is just out of balance. And, you know, every time I've played this in the stream, I have felt the need to, for, for want of a better term, cleanse my palate and remind myself what I liked about these games. So, um... I'm not going to recommend this. I'm going to recommend my palate cleanser, which goes a little bit like this. CDS Microsystems Gobble a Ghost, programmed in 16K, right at the dawn of the spectrum. It's a 16K title, so, you know, a ridiculously small amount of code. It replicates the original Pac-Man maze. It's clearly a clone. Um, it's not got any sort of licensing on it. And this is, I'm pretty sure, Horizon's tape, notwithstanding the first game I played on the ZX Spectrum. And yes, as an older aficionado of all retro games, I can see that this is clearly not Pac-Man. You can't follow the specific patterns of the ghost. But you know what? It's darn sight better than Pac-Mania. Have you enjoyed this video? Would you like to see more? Before you click through to watch something else, why not follow the link to help me make more fun reviews, clips and content?